One thing is I very much suggest anything that you embark on, you should be trying to create experiments so that you prove yourself wrong early and quickly. So typically, for example, when we start a project, we write a scope doc and everyone jumps in to say, what are all the areas this could fail? What are areas this is stronger? Mainly because the philosophy is you want to fail quickly. And the reason for that is that it's not great for anyone if you spend a year on a project and you still, uh, it's murky, like could it succeed, could it not? If you don't have results after all those initial experiments are done, it's easier for fails completely, to be honest. If it's murky, what you're describing, it's much more difficult. And you have to develop a sense of, um, firstly, isolating. Is the question still important? Like, do you still care about it? Because you have to care about what you're doing and enjoy doing it. It's just too much work otherwise. If, if you do, if you're still enjoying it, keep pushing. You know, some of research is stubbornness and you need a sense of perseverance to get through. This is another important skill. But if you're six, eight months in and you feel like you're not getting to a meaningful calibration of the sending signal, expand your research portfolio. Take up another backburner project and at least have two so that you can understand better where you fit.